Hello, I'm Evan Green. I'm a volunteer at the Wyoming State Museum here in Cheyenne, and I want to welcome you to this episode of Firearms Friday. As a volunteer, I have the wonderful opportunity of updating the inventory under the supervision of the staff uh, and working with the inventory of all the firearms in the museum's permanent collection. And occasionally we run across something that you go, what in the world is this? And this is one of those um, sort of amazing. Uh, this has an elk antler grip and someone has done a considerable amount of work to try to convert what was originally a Marlin 1893 centerfire rifle to a single shot 22 caliber. And the amazing thing is it looks like at some point it might have actually worked. Um, our speculation is that Somebody spending a long winter in the bunkhouse with access to some tools uh, spent his time trying to make this uh, little 22 single shot handgun. Involved a fair amount of work. This was a new dovetail to uh, put this express style sight. There was a front sight, to the blade of which is currently missing, um, that was installed. The lever had to be reshaped to accommodate uh, it as a handgun, but the action works. I'm going to turn it over, and we suspect it started out as a carbine because of this ring here. And it seems, and again, it's speculation. It's one of those guns we'll never know uh, what the real story is about this. But it seems unlikely that someone would take a functioning center fire rifle and try to make a single shot 22 pistol out of it. So again, just speculation that the rifle itself had been damaged, the stock was broken, the barrel had burst, uh, and the craftsman, in quotes, uh, was left with the basic frame and action to uh, work with and try to convert to a 22 single shot uh, pistol. And again, it works stiff, but it works. The action will open and close, and it appears that the person was successful in converting the center fire firing pin actually to a rim fire. I'm going to turn this around and put that hammer down. So a uh, shot of both sides and the top, and kind of a nice job of uh, shaping this antler. I think it's an elk antler. Uh, into the handle for this handgun. And just to give you an idea of what he started with, I'm going to bring over into the camera view an original 1893 Marlin rifle from a, uh, this is not a museum specimen, it's from a private collection, but uh, we're using it again to demonstrate uh, the work that had to be done to make this conversion from this uh, Probably, again, a carbine because of the carbine ring on the left-hand side of this pistol. So, again, an interesting firearm and one that you go, what in the world were they thinking? So, as always, thank you for watching our videos. If you have comments or suggestions, please note them in the comment section below or stop by the museum and chat with us. We're always anxious to talk firearms or heirlooms with, uh, with the people who patronize our museum. So... Have a good day. Thanks again.